This video clip will be explaining the process of monitoring exit end temperatures in the James Way multi-stage incubator and what to do if there's, if there's some differences uh, from what is expected. Hey, okay, we're in the exit end of a multi-stage James Way incubator and we're going to do our exit end temperatures which is another important tool just as your entrance end temperatures are on how the machine is is operating it can also be used to help make um, you know set time adjustments those types of things so uh, this is an important tool that you know if used properly will certainly help the hatchery manager first thing we need to do for our entrance end temperatures is to obtain clear eggs we want um, a clear egg uh, on the top middle and somewhere down at the bottom so that we can monitor this um, the, these three different positions on both the left and the right side and then once we have a clear egg identified we'll put a mark on it and then we'll come back to it um, once we've once we've got our top middle and bottom identified and here's another one and then here's our bottom one taken care of <clears throat> so now that we've got our top middle bottom identified what we're going to do is we're going to take our electrotherm with a with a hard uh, metal probe and we will um, poke a hole inside the egg stick our probe in there let it adjust to temperature it could take you know anywhere from two to three minutes and once the temperature is uh, um, stabilizes we will then record that temperature in the James Way multi-stage Super J with a set point of 98.8 we should have a that should be our temperature 98.8 in the top and bottom positions. The middle position will be either a tenth or two tenths higher than that. So we take our electrotherm, we mark it, we probe the egg, <clears throat> we collect our temperature. Now, if we notice the bottom temperature warmer than the top then what we've got going on is we've got an area we've got an issue with our airflow if our bottom temperature is cooler than the top the top egg then we've got an issue with spray so uh, spray nozzle may be um, maybe uh, need to be changed because our droplet size are too big or we've got something going on with with the spray if our if our temperature is out of range the top and the bottom is not at set point we need to then look at possible calibrations <clears throat> if we have side to side differences then we we can also have an airflow issue and the airflow issues would be um, gaskets uh, fans curtains uh, turning um, uh, the position between the racks if, if the racks are we've got spaces in the top or the bottom where the racks don't fit in properly because the tracking is bent or something along those lines so those are some of the things to take a look at and and that's all we got to do again we would record our top uh, egg temperature our middle egg temperature and our bottom egg temperature on both the right and the left hand side and then we would evaluate whether or not the machine is is operating the way it should or the way we expect so again the top and the bottom should be very close to the set point and the middle temperature should be a tenth to two tenths warmer than the set 